The newspaper reports on abuse of a 15-year-old minor girl in Mount Lavinia, uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, actually, uh, we can uh, see this uh, from a different different points of views. Uh, well, it's a abuse of a minor girl. From one, it's a crime. Uh, then, on the other hand, uh, we can see here the girls attain puberty somewhere between age 10, 12. And afterwards, you know, they uh, even after they once they achieve the puberty, their maturity levels are very high than the boys who may get the puberty at around, uh, you know, age of 14 uh, later, uh, for at around 13, 14. So, uh, you know, they, you know, uh, the girls who attain puberty at this age, they are of a high maturity, and uh, they also are, you know, as, uh, you know, as females, they also have certain needs but they don't trust the same age boys so we can see in this mount lavinia girls abuse case as it's child abusing all the people who had you know had been involved with her on sexual grounds they were adults they were not the same age you know 12 her age is 15 but all those who have taken her to various places for abuse uh, are mature people so you can see this girl who had been abused she had placed trust on those you know people who are beyond her age because her maturity that is how it normally they are matured enough to identify those who they can trust that's why they go with them willingly these things until they come out to the police law enforcement who then take action so now on the other hand you can see the same boys if you take the same group say 13 14 once they attain puberty they don't really have abuse towards the same age girls but they rather go with similarly the elderly women who are sometimes about 20 uh, you know that type of women only these 13 14 15 year old boy boys have some sexual relations so this is a normal way they don't abuse their same age unless of course let's say a 14 year old boy or 16 year old boy's girlfriend is 13 14 then they are they unless they are very close they don't trust each other here and it may break up later ruining both of their lives if they do such things at this young age and this disrupt their education so this type of long-term relations at this tender age with two similar age category you know boy and a girl must not be allowed because that ruin their lives, they lose trust uh, on themselves and their lives and parents later on. Because they are of course break up because they are not based on certain, you know, maturity, you know, just on, uh, you know, uh, love at first sight. That's something like that without maturity. So, but when you look at this, on the other hand, the 12 year or 15 year old girls uh, having trust on elderly people beyond their age and also the 14, 15 year, year old boys you know moving uh, just to make uh, you know some associations uh, for fun uh, you know a pleasure with the older women about 20 25 years old the, the boys of course are mischievous but girls here they depend on trust that's why they trust them at, at this young age they trust someone who is above them too you know to give them security but what happens is that the due to some family issue or maybe it's a biological reason biological traditional cultural reasons in sri lanka uh, this happens so uh, you know the, the thing is uh, you know when you look at uh, this uh, you can see in this case sri lanka cardiologist doctors association have issued a statement today on slankacnews.com denying that this naval sri lanka navy cardiologist who had apparently taken this 15 year old go girl to uh, some hotel and who says that uh, she was smelling and uh, he did not do any sexual abuse and he came out once he knew that uh, you know that she was a minor she has said no i can't and he had come out the cardiologist say but the sri lanka cardiologist doctors say uh, like this doctor of course is not a doc cardiologist he's a mbbs doctor still under cardiology training under sri lanka cardiologist college but then uh, the best thing is to request this cardiologist doc not to put him in the jail right like this or any investigations against the cardiologist uh, who, from the sri lanka navy but you can see the cardiologist have shown true love to her right because he had once uh, this minor girl had removed the clothes it seems in a hotel 
she had found this girl is a minor this is not a woman and then she said no no i can't sleep with you i'm going and now in the court proceeding the cardiologist you know this doctor mbbs doctor uh, said like uh, has said to the lady magistrate that she was made in bad so i came out but i think she he the cardiologist loved this minor girl that is why he refused to do anything to abuse and came out and even in the court she he said he was she was smelling bad and emanating a bad smell so i came out so it proves that the sri lanka navy cardiologist trainee who is a mbbs doctor truly loved her so he must be asked to marry her and look after her that's the only way to solve this problem and others you know who had uh, you know taken her out based on some advertisement similar to ebay.com service advertisements offered in a sri lankan website you know must be asked to pay compensation to them once they get married to support her and uh, both of them in joint bank account put some money buy them a house buy them a car give everything possible to support them to live together as a family in future and uh, it can be a eye opener to everybody because uh, it's a very heartbreaking story when the cardiologist say when i went to the hotel room i found she is a minor when she removed the clothes and then i walked out because since she was a minor i was not interested but then when the courts she would he was cardiologist from the sri lanka navy officers he was brought before the courts by police he said uh, to lady magistrate that she was smelling bad then i came out that proves the cardiologist truly loved this girl so that is why i propose a marriage between them then uh, on the other hand about this matter uh, let me explain the balance in my other video